Blades, I'm the Not Social Commentator, here bringing you a COD 4 gameplay. You're gonna have to excuse my terrible sniping, I did pick up a few other guns in this, but I did end up going like 25 and 3. It's domination, I joined it a little late, but that's no big deal. Anyways, uh, so yeah, as I said, this is going on the Battleground channel, hopefully. Um, it's a new, very new channel, I will, of course, probably, of course there will probably be a link in the description, I'll be on the channel. Check it out, that's that. Um, I see my channel will be down there as well, it's Renegades, yeah. So I'm going to be talking about, um, you know, what makes a good video game, what makes a good game, and, you know, specifically, you know, why some people, you know, say, you know, what keeps bringing us back to Call of Duty? Is it because it's a good game? Because everyone seems to, everyone, like, seems to have more and more haters with every single game that comes out, and then, you know, they'll go back to, you know, loving the old game, like, you know, everyone hated Black Ops when it first came out. Well, when it first came out, maybe, like, four or five months in his lifespan, everyone just could not stand that game, the Second Chance, Ghost... FAMAS, 74U, etc. People hated it, and now, you know, people, you know, I, you know, me personally, I didn't really like it too much in its prime, but now I look at it, I think it's one of the best CODs, you know, next to World of War. I'm just a Treyarch fanboy of it, I, I really do think that, you know, Infinity War makes, makes, you know, COD 4 and whatnot, but, uh, Modern War 2, Modern War 3, or, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. But, um, so what makes a good game? And I guess, you know, I guess Call of Duty has, you know, all the factors, because, you know, people keep... Coming back every single year. Every year they break a shit ton of records, and Black Ops is keeps breaking records. That you know they broke one a little like, a couple months ago, just like outsold one for three, I think, which is pretty cool. I'm not entirely sure on that. But you know what? You know what I think makes a good game is it needs to have good campaign, you know, good multiplayer, whether it be online or uh, you know it's local. You know that that doesn't really matter to me as long as I can still play with friends. You know, or you know, yeah, or um, people online randomly. But I, you know, what makes a good game for me? And it doesn't necessarily need to have multiplayer if it has a good story. You know, see, Call of Duty is a thing that is, generally has very short campaigns. Now, no campaign probably in Call of Duty probably takes more than 10 hours of gameplay. Not, you know, like the regular setting. You know, if you're on veteran, it'll probably take a lot longer. But, uh, you know, things like Zelda. That game takes many, many, many hours to beat. So, you know, to take Ocarina of Time, for example, and people love it because it has a good story, lovable characters, memorable gameplay, and I guess, you know, Call of Duty has that in some aspects. I think multiplayer is very repetitive. You know, it's always, it's been, it's stayed generally the same since, you know, COD, no, COD 4, yeah. I was going to say COD 2 for a second. Was that a collateral with the AK-47? I don't know. But, um, it's stayed generally the same, so I don't really know what keeps getting people, what keeps, you know, bringing people back, because I think the gameplay is generally very repetitive. I think what, you know, what keeps me coming back is the, you know, this, I say it's repetitive, but at the same time, it's also very random. Right, let me, let me, uh, just, or, let me explain this. When it's, re it's, it's repetitive because it's always the same idea. It's always, you go into a game, say, team deathmatch, pick out your favorite gun, you know, in, in your class, one, whatever. Kill as many people as you can, get some rack up some kill streaks, get a good score. It's the same as that, but however, it's also spontaneous the fact that anything can happen in a game. You know, you might get a freaking quad feed one game and a nuke the next game. It's just, I think that's what people keeps coming, you know, bringing people back is that it's spontaneous, but it's also familiar territory. And so, like, when you have a game like Zelda, it, it takes a lot more to get into that game, whereas Call of Duty. You can just, you can jump in in an hour of gameplay. You'll know a map or two, and where with things like Ocarina of Time, you will need maybe two or three playthroughs to you know find out all those secrets. And so what I think keeps bringing back keeps you know bringing people back to Call of Duty and making it seem like a good game is is the fact it's spontaneous but repetitive. You know people do not have to have a huge learning curve, and you think so, especially things like Infinity Ward really really. Um, Helps out new players, you know, death streaks, uh, or really overpowered, you know, setups. It won't be new to from one over two. You know, those helped out a lot. Those for new players. And personally, I don't like that. That's why I like things like World of War and Black Ops because bad players do bad and good players do good. But I'm getting a little off topic. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I, I think I hope you guys can kind of you know you realize what I'm trying to say here because you know what key, what brings you back to Call of Duty so often because you know for me. I, it's what I primarily post on my channel, and like I said, it's just anything can happen in a game. You know, maybe maybe you'll play, like, you'll have a little gaming session. You'll you know get a lot of the same stuff, the same lobby, same old boring stuff. But if you try to switch it up or not, switch it up in your game. You know, say one game using the AK-47, the next game you're using the M16 or whatever. You know, that'll keep it fresh. It's the same. You're doing the same thing, yes, but it'll keep it. You know, it'll keep it fresh. Like I'm repeating myself, but. It'll keep it new, it'll keep things exciting. 
And I think I'm going to apply this to a bigger thing. I'm saying this with games as well. If you are only an FPS or maybe only a Call of Duty player, branch out. There's so many more games you can try and you can enjoy and just... I'm trying to apply this little lesson, you know, to, to get people to try something more than Call of Duty or, you know, Battlefield or something, because, you know, those are both, you know, good games, just there's so much more in, you know, the world of video gaming that people need to try, you know. I, I use Zelda's example a lot, because I think it's one of the best series, if not the best series of all time, and I wish, wish more people, you know, would, you know, take the time to sit down and really learn and enjoy those games, but, uh, that's what I want to talk about, you guys. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank Battleground for posting. If it does go, uh, my name is X Renegades. I'm the Not So Original Commentator. Uh, and uh, yep, thank you very much for watching. This is COD Four. Final score was 25 to three, I believe. And goodbye.